What's going on, guys? Part three, cartwheels. Now we got a partner here. We've done 10,000 reps solo. We've done 10,000 reps with the stability ball. Different size stability balls. Um, some secret unknown techniques with your cartwheel pass that I don't know about. And hopefully your partner doesn't know about. And your opponent doesn't know about. All right? So today I'm going to give you some examples of doing the cartwheel pass with a partner. And sometimes you, know, you can get a, a noob and do these. You can get your spouse, your kids, or whoever. As long as they can keep it in a nice position, you can do these passes with them. You're not putting uh, as much weight on them as what you think you would. If you're putting weight on them and you cause them an injury, you hadn't developed your cartwheel. Um, you just not, don't have that much confidence in it. And you hadn't learned how to place your balance between moving forward with the cartwheel pass. So that's something that you want to have down because I don't want to be in a drill situation where I'm in class with this person and the first thing I do is here and I elbow them in the face trying to do a cartwheel pass. It's still, you know, rotating over with the hands, my elbow's not coming across the face. Even when I compete, I'm not trying to elbow people in the face because people don't appreciate that and they're going to talk about you. So we always want to practice good, safe technique. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is her position. It's her position. The feet are usually out. The hands or arms are tucked to the inside and she's leaning forward. She doesn't want to be in like a typical position where she's sitting down, just like her body's bent 90 degrees. She doesn't want to be there because one, it's easy for me to lift the feet up. It's easy to push. It's easy to push and lift. It's a lot of different types of things. Some people still from here, I can come in here and I can push down and still make a pass. And this is, this is what I refer to as easy passing. And some people, you catch them with both feet out. You see this in some people. This is easier to pass on because I can cross step easy and make my pass. And sometimes I don't have to cross step. I can just step to the center and rotate around. And I have it back. Remember any time we cartwheel passing or they're like this, if I put one leg in the center, if it's here, if it's there, it's, it's a hook for the back. I don't care if they grab a hold of it. If I put one foot in and she grabs a hold and she clenches, pinches the knees together, that's just a hook. To me, it's just a hook. Nothing to stop me from rotating around and taking the back. So think about if you're from the bottom, you're still practicing good technique, all right? So my entry, I'm never entering like this because she's going to attack my legs. Anytime I'm standing straight up over a person that's on the ground, there's plenty of leg attacks. So I, I can adjust my position, I can step in, out, around, and I'm looking to get this entry here just the same as we've done with the stability ball. Some of you may have a shallow step, some of you may have a deeper step. Just depends on what type of attack that you have. All right, this cartwheel pass, I just place my hands on the ground. So I get a little bit of faint motion to the outside. I come and I step in, my hand comes down, and I'm to the back. I'm not touching her at all. I'm here, I can use a direct entry, and I'm straight over the top. This doesn't include stepping and elbowing them in the face. Still a cartwheel. Okay. Another type of car we we'll look at is we're getting used to putting this single hand down. One foot, one hand. I'm using my other hand to, to place on them. Remember I talked about primary hand, primary attack hand, secondary attack hand. All right. So I'm coming in here, I'm placing the hand sometimes to the outside, sometimes it may be to the inside. But this is my primary attack hand. What do I want? Do I want the neck? Do I want the neck this way, like a cow catcher? Or do I want to come over the top, like I'm going for a rear naked choke? Or do I want to come in for the hand? Or maybe you're just catching the outside of the leg. But there's a few spots that I want to place the hand. If I'm rear naked choke, my hand comes here and it's already ready to take it back. So when I make that dive over, my hand's already ready to be on the neck. All right, 
if I want the um, the camor of the pads, it's going to be typical of the same thing. I'm looking to dig that out and to be here to get that camor grip. There's a little bit more to grabbing that grip. I'm not being careless. It's easy to get. When you got somebody on the guard, much harder to, to pry out. So let's talk about your secondary attack hand. We talked about putting this on the ground. Now I'm going to put it on the knee. Some people's position are a little bit tighter. Their knees, their elbows are more to the inside. And it looks like I don't have any territory. Now maybe I don't want to place my hand on the ground. I may need more height to go over. So I'm going to look at putting my hand on the knee. So I'm here and I put the hand on the knee. And I'll make my pass over the top. If you want to put the left hand down, you can or use it to attack. Other spot, the shoulder. I can look at look the places on the shoulder when I'm in here and I come around, I place my hand on the shoulder. And she's leaning forward. If this person was leaning back, they'd have no stability. They go straight to the ground. But since she's leaning forward, there's stability and I'm able to get over the top. Let's take a look at happens, what happens when she's leaning back, when she's out of position. When I'm here and I go for the cartwheel pass, she's straight to the mat. That's an easy pass. Get into your X passing. You catch somebody and they're kind of out of position, maybe you push the head, we go here, and we're past the guard. So, cartwheel passing can lead you to other passes, or if you just prefer the cartwheel pass to attack the back, that's what you get into. So, we'll get into some reps. Rewind the tape if you need to see them again. Hand placement on the ground, on the knee, on the shoulder, primary hand, secondary hand and where you place the body. On these cartwheel passes, I'll get in more in depth with them as we go. So look for more of this and have some fun, get you some rips.